Hello guys, in this video, we'll write a code to check a given number is a prime or not. Okay, so when you talk about prime numbers, so prime numbers are those numbers that are divisible by itself and 1. So if you try to divide that number between 1 to that number, it will not divide get by any number. So to demonstrate this in a, in a code, what we'll do is, we'll first take input from user, so we'll say int i, or we'll say int num, and this input will come from the user, but you know, so initially we'll start with a number 25. And we know 25 is not a prime number. And later we'll take this number from the user. So for this, to do these operations, what we need is we need a k variable, or we'll, we'll use a flag. So we'll say a Boolean flag. So we'll say, uh, we'll say is prime. So we'll use this a variable which is is prime. And by default, this is false. Or by default, it is let's say true. Okay, so once you get is prime is equal to true, and then what we'll do is we'll start the counting from one. So we'll, we'll have a for loop. We'll have a for loop here. We'll start with the value which is one, and we'll end not one. We'll start with two because we know the prime number gets divided by one and itself. So why to go to the last point? We'll finish one before that point, and then we'll say i plus plus. Okay, so, so we are starting with 2 and we are finishing at num. So we have to check uh, that number should, be, should not get divided by any number between these two. Now how to check that? We'll say if. If n mod i is equal to equal to 0, that means it is getting divided. So in that scenario, what we'll do is we'll say, we'll set is prime is equal to false. And that's it. Okay, so once you see, okay, it's none. It's n, equal, n is none. So once you see that it is getting divided by any number, you just have to say it is as false. And since we know it is false, we can just say break. So if, divide, if it, it gets divided by any number, so we can simply set is prime equal to false, and then we'll say break. And then once your for loop is over, now we'll check if the number is prime, okay, since uh, if only takes the true and false value, boolean value, we can directly write is prime, and we'll print here uh, the num is the num is a prime number. Okay, and we'll finish the string here. So if it is prime, it is it will print prime. Otherwise, it will print. So we'll say out not a prime number. Simple, right? So this is the logic of prime number. So we have to start with uh, the value 2 and we have to finish till the number or the le le 1 minus the number. If that number is divided by any number in between, we'll simply set is prime as false and we'll say break. Once it is break, uh, or anyway, if it is not breaking or breaking, we have to check is if it is uh, still, uh, still a true value. If it is true, then we'll print is prime, otherwise it will print the prime number and if I run this so of course we know 25 is not a prime number then question what is a prime number so let's try 29 which is also it's a prime number yeah so 29 is a prime number okay so this, this is the simplest logic you can have but if but the thing is we are starting with 2 and we are ending at num right so we can what we can also do is we can just divide the, we can just go till the half of that number because as per mathematics uh, if you if you have a prime number, so we just have to start with the two, and then we have to end at half of the number. So it is it will be running much faster than the previous value. Okay, so if I say start, so it is again a prime number. Okay, and then uh, what we can simply so we, what is a faster way from this? We can also do it till the square root of this. So it's a math dot square root, and we have to pass num there. Okay, so this is one of the way to do it. So if I say run, so it's again uh, a prime number, right? So this is the best way you can find, so which is square root. Good. So yeah, so that's how you have to check a given prime number. For this example, we can simply go with num. You can also go with half or you can also go with uh, the square root. So this is how you have to check a given number is prime or 
So thanks for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.